Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here today with Jasper and Brandon. And what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Jasper's ability to understand and respond to his formal obedience commands. The little tiny corrections and lots of motivation that we give him when we're working with him and the training equipment that we're using. Brandon is using a regular six foot web training leash. He keeps the bulk of that leash folded neatly in his right hand. That leaves his left hand free to give any little correction that we give and the only correction that we give is a little tug and release on his training collar. He will come home with his own training equipment and you can see that, or maybe here, since somebody's blowing Lee is in the back, um, that Brandon is also using a clicker and an occasional treat. So we want to keep it happy and fun for these young dogs, but we also want them to know that you mean business. Now he's sitting nicely at Brandon's left and the first exercise that they're going to demonstrate for us is healing. Healing is proper leash walking and the command is Jasper heal. Now at this point Jasper has a job to do and that is to maintain pace with you when you're walking. Not forging ahead or lagging behind. His shoulders shouldn't pass your leg. And when you stop your feet he has been taught to sit automatically without being told to wait for his next command. So this should make walking him much more of a pleasure and less of a drag. And the next command that Brandon's gonna demonstrate is the sit stay. Stay is a hand and a voice command. And because it is a stationary exercise, we do not use his name. You can practice this exercise indoors as well as outdoors and lengthen out the amount of time he can hold it and the distance that he, you can go. When Brandon returns back to him, he walks back to his shoulders, he gives him a little pat for praise, and they take off healing again. So for a city dog, manners on leash, walking with distraction, even though I'm not loving this distraction, is important because you have a ton of them. Brandon left him in another sit stay and this time he is going to use his name because he's going to call him and this is the come one command. And he should come and sit. We've been very much discouraging his jumping. And we have a little blanket out here for him. And when you get him home, it doesn't hurt in your house to have a blanket or a dog bed or something that he visualizes as go to place. And Brandon will demonstrate the recall again for us. Good, he came and sat, he didn't come and jump. And you can use your clicker two different ways. You can use it as a reward or you can use it to get him focused on you. Now we're going to demonstrate for you his down from a heel position. So with him seated at your left, left open palm, straight down toward the ground, the one word command to down and stay. So remember, you only use his name on the motion exercises. Now if he gets up, you see that all Brandon said was no. He repeated the hand signal. And he's going to return back to Jasper. At this point, Jasper expects to get another command. So Brandon heals him out of that. He's really come such a long way and he's such a happy kid. He's going to demonstrate that down from a heel position again, down and stay. And he's working really on hand commands alone. Brandon might be talking to him quietly, but I can't hear him. This time he'll have him come and sit. Very good, and we're gonna try it down from a distance. This is a little bit harder. 
and we're not going to go too far but what you do I want to demonstrate it for you is you leave him in a sit stay well that wasn't what I had in mind but there's your down one more time okay that's all right it's fine when you heal him out of that and bring him back, let's attempt a little short down from a distance. Okay. So Brandon brings him back to his place. He's going to have him sit. He's going to leave him to stay. He's not going to go too far away because this is a little bit new for him. That was perfect. And that is your down from a distance and again you're going to lengthen out the distance that you can go. So you have a very, very smart puppy. He has done a great job here at school. We've tried to set him up to make mistakes and every once in a while he gets overly excited. But one thing about obedience training is it keeps the dogs focused. It helps to develop attention span, maturity, eye contact. All of the things that you want from him. He has done a great job. I know you're looking forward to seeing him. He's going to go in and get a bubble bath. And we will see you tomorrow. And thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training.